Hepatitis C is one of the great success stories of modern medicine. Not only is it curable, but it's an easy cure. In fact, we've set a goal of eliminating hepatitis C and all the hepatitis viruses by 2030. Hi, I'm Dr. Lawrence S. Friedman. I'm a gastroenterologist and chair of the Department of Medicine at Newton Wellesley Hospital. And this is Clues to Cures, a history of a cure for hepatitis C. Hepatitis C is a virus transmitted by blood. It can cause inflammation of the liver, and the inflammation can lead to scarring, which ultimately can cause cirrhosis of the liver. Cirrhosis can cause complications, including liver cancer. The challenge is that many people don't know they have hepatitis C. It often doesn't cause symptoms at all, or it may be associated with mild fatigue. But fatigue is common. Many people have it, and it may not be due to hepatitis C. Over time, hepatitis C causes inflammation of the liver that can cause scarring and lead to cirrhosis. Groups at greatest risk of cirrhosis are men, people over age 50, and people who drink alcohol excessively or have some other liver condition in addition to hepatitis C. It's hard to predict who will develop cirrhosis because our prediction tools are not very precise. Although the hepatitis C virus was discovered in 1989, we actually started treating it in the mid-1980s with a drug called interferon. Interferon was given by injection three times a week for 48 weeks. It wasn't terribly effective and it caused a lot of side effects. Once we discovered the virus, we could test for it. And by 1992, it became apparent that there was a lot of hepatitis C transmitted by blood transfusions. So we could test blood for hepatitis C and make the blood supply much safer than it ever had been. We also learned that over time, hepatitis C, what I like to say, chipped away at the liver, causing scarring which over a period of 20 to 30 years could lead to cirrhosis. This spurred the development of new approaches to treatment, including new drugs that were aimed at curing hepatitis C and that had fewer side effects than interferon. In 2020, the Nobel Prize in Medicine went to the discovery and development of cures for hepatitis C. We've come a remarkably long way in the management of hepatitis C. We now have great drug combinations given for a relatively short period of time, eight or 12 weeks depending on the regimen, taken orally and relatively free of side effects that can cure hepatitis C over 95% of the time. Gone are the days of self-injection of a treatment taken for 48 weeks. You can now take an oral regimen once a day for a relatively short period of time. You can expect a cure regardless of the strain of the virus, and you will likely have no side effects from the treatment. Cirrhosis caused by hepatitis C has been a common reason for liver transplantation, but that number is going down because we can now cure hepatitis C and prevent cirrhosis. In some cases, we can actually reverse cirrhosis. It's estimated that there are 71 million people in the world with hepatitis C. Here at Mass General Brigham, we're looking at newer regimens that can be used when an individual does not respond to a first-line regimen to cure hepatitis C. We're also working on reaching hard-to-reach populations and finding effective regimens for hard-to-treat populations. We're studying patients from diverse socioeconomic backgrounds. We're studying people who have undergone transplantation already and have hepatitis C or are immunosuppressed and have hepatitis C. We're always looking to simplify the regimens to make them accessible to as many people as possible. If you're over 18, get screened for hepatitis C. If you've ever had a blood transfusion, experimented with injection drug use, undergone hemodialysis, 
or are immunosuppressed, you're at particular risk. So get screened. And if you are found to have hepatitis C, you're likely not going to need a liver biopsy to determine how much scarring there is in the liver. We can do that non-invasively. So don't be afraid to get tested and don't be afraid to get treated. We can make hepatitis C a problem of the past. Thanks for watching. For more Clues to Cures videos, click here and don't forget to subscribe here.